Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In the last episode, we explored original wasteland, trying to get our friend Elfland back. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite do that, but we were able to defeat, of course, the uh the the armadillo, I forget what its name was, but here in the collect the collector of the uh, Sleepless Valley. Now we're moving on over to a very perilous zone, which is Redgar Forbidden Lands, where hopefully we can finally save our friend. I'm gonna start with the first level right over this way. Enter the fiery forbidden lands. Oh boy. So I'm sure this is gonna be difficult, but we'll find out as we hop in. Whoa, so it's like a city that's been covered in volcanic waste all over the place. Wow, that's so cool. Looks like we're gonna have a, a lot of challenges up ahead. But definitely let's just sort of, you know, take our time, look around, and hopefully we can find some stuff. Like, there, there has to be something back here, right? <laughs> something sneaky? Because I feel like we, we had that a couple episodes ago where there was something right at the beginning that was really well hidden. But not this time. I can eat these rocks. All right. Okay, what's going on around here then? Wow, the fireballs are raining from the sky and everything. Gotta be real careful out here. Not a friendly place, that's for sure. Okay, almost got hit there, gotta be careful. Oh, there's a fox up here. Whoa, he's calling on his buddies. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, that was a big one. I couldn't even really see. Okay, I'll spit that out there, but can I get you? Not from here. Huh. Well, can I get up there or no? I don't think I can. Let's go and take an ability real fast. Look at that. Gigant sword, always good. But there was something over this way, what is this? Just a leaf I can stand on. It seems a bit odd. Oh, but can I get up here with this? Yes, I can. There's not much up here, but defeat two lookout a woofies. A woofies is such a cute name though, oh, I love it. All right, so we'll look for one more lookout a woofy. Maybe a woofy? Oh, uh, okay, this whole platform I think is sinking. So let's try to be careful and get off of here soon. Gotcha, oh man. Get rid of you two. Whoa, oh, I thought that was landing on me. So we gotta be fast, there's a button over here. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, that's gonna give me another capsule, or I think the first capsule today, so good to get that. Huh, oh, there's another one. So we'll try to get that a woofy in a moment. Bunch of carrots too. Oh man, they want the carrots. Okay, got rid of all those. Gonna hop up here. Get you real fast. Excellent. So it's gonna be two. I know it looks like we haven't missed anything just yet. Haven't found any of the hidden model these, but we do have some of these green key things up here. That could be something. Once again, we gotta be fast. Okay, there's another. Oh man, everything about this area so far is absolutely intense. Come on. Okay, that was just a coin, but there's the last one of that. Awesome. So what is that gonna unlock up this way? A chest, which maybe one of the Wallabies is in there? We'll find out. Yep, there you go. So our first of four. I have to keep looking for more then. Things are more intense than ever. We're still trying to look through and you know get our friend back. I don't know if there's anything over here. Not really looking like it. I don't want to risk falling. There's even more waiting around. Up here, more bunnies. Which I'm sure they have a name that's not just bunnies. Seeing how everything has its own name. Okay. Moving platforms are a little tricky. But I do see, is there something in there? I guess not, huh. I did see some stuff up this way. Oh, oh, I needed the dig ability. Luckily, it's gonna give it to me again. That's kind. And then we'll wait again. Got it, got it, got it. Oh man, oh man, it's supposed to be over here. Okay, there's the hidden model D. Nice, two out of four. And I guess another drill ability, just in case I needed it or got stuck somehow. I'm just trying to look for what the next challenge is gonna be, because I haven't really seen too much. There's not been like hidden posters or anything. This is the new drill, the twin drill. Hmm. I'll go over here for now and break that crate open. Get some extra food I don't really need. 
Okay. Uh, a little rude, but... See, there's not too much on that one, but on this one, there's three. Got it. Oh, there is something up there. Huh. How do I get up that way? I don't quite see anything. Oh, that hurts. Sorry, Kirby. Maybe over here? Aha, very sneaky. Whoa, okay, so we're definitely gonna try this then and get a bunch of money. Find the secret passage. That's cool. Those are always my favorite. Cause they're tricky and hard to find, but man, they're so satisfying to figure out. All right, so we get another capsule as well, but I think we're good to go through the door now. Glad we had that keen eye to spot that treasure chest or I would've totally missed everything, you know? Okay, I see this big guy. He's not gonna be too friendly. Okay, that hurt him more than it hurt me, but it did still hurt me. Okay, got it. You being out that way does make me curious. Is there anything out this way? Okay, the camera's not moving with me, so I'm gonna say no. There is something up there, but I can't quite reach it from here. It looks like it's just a capsule. Okay, those guys are gonna charge off, and behind them is another staircase. Okay, so it looks like we're finding all sorts of hidden passages. That's cool. But I think that's our third or fourth capsule. Hmm. I'll go ahead and get rid of that guy. All right, we really have to move with this one. Is there anything up here? Hmm, just a weird little platform. Some extra food, which I can definitely make the most of. Oh, what's with the coins here? Oh my, whoa, a secret, okay. So let's probably assume that the third challenge is gonna be getting through this without taking damage or doing it under a certain time frame or something. And do what we can. Uh, oh, okay, that didn't work. That also didn't work. Got it. I need to go fast. No, 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 come on, Kirby. Ah, oh, that's, that's silly. All right. I think, well, I took damage. I don't know if that last challenge will be possible. It just, that's something I always have a problem with, with the drill ability, is that I'll be trying to drill down, but I'll be ever so slightly above the ground. So instead of drilling down, Kirby will drill forward in the air, which is helpful sometimes, but most of the time it's not what I wanted at all. So I wish there was sort of a way to fix that. I don't know if there is. By the way, we did save one of the hidden model these. I think, I'm gonna guess that the challenge would have been like, hey, you know, uh, get that done without taking damage, but there is something over here, so maybe I'm wrong. It's a capsule. All right, well, luckily there's lots of capsules in this level. We also have the mouthful mode? What is this about? Can I jump back down there with the mouthful mode? Oh, there's nothing but lava. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> the curiosity got the best of me. Hmm. So what am I doing with this? I guess washing away all the lava, then there could still be a chance here that I, I haven't gotten the challenge done yet. We'll just focus on washing away all this lava and see what it gets done for us. This guy's coming in to get me, but now we can refill it here too. Hmm. Grab some of that. Oh. Whoa! That's huge! Okay, we gotta be fast, I guess. Um, is this whole thing about to come down? What's the idea here? Oh, wait, use water to destroy seven fa falling lava balls. I didn't even realize. Okay, that was one out of seven, two out of seven. So unfortunately we missed our chance there and we missed the one waddle dean. How would we have hit seven of them? I feel like we haven't had this for long enough that it would have been seven. Huh. Okay, and there was also one of the hidden waddledees back there, so I would have had to go over there real fast, too. I feel like that's gonna take a couple of tries. Huh. Definitely a bit tough. But for right now, we will save these guys, end the level, and try again. Luckily, you know, it's not one of those things where I have to figure out what to do. I know what to do, it's just doing it might be a bit difficult. So, save one more hidden waddledee, 
Use the water to destroy seven falling lava balls. We'll go for it. Okay, well, we already had this one. And what about, oh, this is a volume three. See, it's a new one. This is Vending Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire vending machine into his mouth. Fire soda cans forward to attack enemies and blast through barriers. Your ammo is limited, so keep an eye out for any cans that can be picked back up. We got one more over here. Ooh, is this new? Wild Bonkers. The mysterious vortex brought Bonkers to the new world too. They arrived before Kirby and quickly joined the ranks of the fearsome Beast Pack. They really like their new look, and they're getting along with all their new coworkers, especially the Mookies. Another volume two or volume one? And that's gonna be it there. But hey, we found two new ones. Always good to see. So I'll have to hop right back into that level, but after that, we'll be going into this next level, which is Conquer the Inferno Road. So a lot more uh, fiery lava action coming up. But for right now, let's get the full completion for this level. We'll get a couple of uh, bonus stuff we'll tackle later. Okay, going back in. Okay, so I'm back to being the water balloon mouthful mode. And for the most part, yeah, I'm just trying to, oh, I didn't reach it. No, I did, I did, okay, we're fine. Wow, we get lots of food and stuff for that, that's cool. Well, I guess I missed one of them. Or no, maybe it's slow to update. Gotcha. Okay, so here's the tough part. Getting to these three in time seems to be tricky. Almost there, almost there. Come on. Or four. Yeah, okay. Got it. And this should be the last one. I sure hope so. Let's see. Let's wait for that to, before we hop out of lava mode. Seven out of seven. Very cool. So I still have this, so I can go and grab that last waddle Awesome. All right, so that was pretty tricky, but with enough determination, you can get it, you can get it. All right, so there we go. So this level should be fully complete now. It was just some stuff towards the end that we messed up. But yeah, that was a fun one. Definitely the challenge is going up and up as we get farther and farther into the game. Hopefully we can continue staying in one piece so that we can save Elflin. But now we have to move on to the second level of this area, which I believe, get this over to the left. But all the waddle he saved, pretty cool. See you guys. There's another bonus challenge. Okay, so over this way, we have Conquer the Inferno Road. Let's go for it. There are five hidden waddle to save in this one. So the drill ability, but there is the cutter ability up there, which I might trade off for. Usually, you know, the game will give you the abilities you need. So, yeah, we have the buzzsaw cutter now, which looks so cool. It's only one cutter compared to the chakram, but got some food there, which I didn't need too much, but steal two of the beast's meaty meals. All right, so if I see any food, I should probably just run and try to grab it before it goes away. Okay, and there is one of the little monkeys. I forget their names right now. Okay, that does not count as the second one. Okay, so these shoot three of them, and then they give me a little gap. Ooh, look at this. Honey coins up here. And I hear a waddle dee already. Oh man, you're not happy. Here, I'm gonna throw that out. Oh no, you got me. Okay, that was scary. Oh, so there you are. How am I getting inside though? It looks like there's a ladder on the back of the room there. So maybe if I keep going up, I can come back around. Whoa, watch it. I'm gonna grab that coin maybe. Got it. And then up this way, aha. I can press this button on this little desk. We can go down. I got you, Waddle don't worry. There you are. So it's one out of the five of the hidden Waddle Yeah, we were already down there, so we are good to go. It's sort of spiraling upwards. Oh my, whoa, crash, I might wanna take this. Because it's time crash now, so that should be pretty crazy. I wonder, is there anything up in this little pocket? Doesn't really look like it. I guess you could, ah, oh, you can't quite get up there. But the ladder should do the trick just fine. I do see some stuff 
Hold on, that area looks pretty open, so I'm guessing there's a boss fight. Hmm. Oh, some extra food. Wait, that's mine then. Is that gonna be the second of the beast's meaty meals? Indeed it is. Okay, Wild Frosty. Let's go for it. Oh, I love this. Okay, so just gonna keep beating you up and hopefully. Oh, no, no, wait. Gotcha. Come on, come on. Almost got have you here. Nice. Oh, that was a challenge. You just crash to defeat Wild Frosty. I don't mind if I do. Now we have Blizzard Ice, which we haven't had too much time with, so it's fun to have this. So I think that means we have one more. Did we miss it? Huh. I guess we did. That's weird that all three of them would have been so soon. But hey, with the ice ability, we can ride around on the lava. I guess ice beats fire in this situation. So we can sort of do that to all these. Was that a good idea though? Oh yeah, then we can destroy them. Gotcha, interesting. So there's a, our second hidden waddledy. Well, luckily we haven't missed any of those. Gotcha. And that's gonna be another capsule. Let's watch out for you. Yeah, we can't freeze the Frosty. So there's sort of a couple of different paths to go through here. Okay, I missed the bunny, but that's all right. Oh, there's definitely gonna be something around here, right? Okay, what is this, just a capsule? It's sort of a shame to get so many volume one capsules when I have volume one completed, you know? Sort of wish there was a way to not do that or to do something with the duplicates. It is weird that you can get so many duplicates and there's nothing you can really do about them. This wall or this floor is cracked. Making me think that maybe there's something we could do about that. Ow, uh, there you go. So I don't want to destroy these just yet. Maybe I can go back. Aha, with the cone. Okay, it's gonna be a little stressful. I don't know if these will start breaking. Watch it. But then yeah, we can slam on this. Aha, and there's a, I can't go in with the cone. <laughs> but I can go in still, a little extra room. What do we do here? Okay, there's a waddle to save, and it's limited time. All right, I'm on it. What exactly do I do here, though? First off, I do see this I can malpho mode. That has a switch. All right, Kirby, let that go. Hit that. Oh, that's gonna make Another mouthful mode. This is just like a whole mouthful mode combo. I'm halfway through my time now. Come on, Kirby. Knock that container over. This is taking so long. Oh my goodness. Spit it out, spit it out. And then eat this up. Oh, I am. This is gonna be close. Ready, set, go. Got it. Oh man, that was close. But there's a third hidden waddle he saves. Wow. Okay, I don't see anything else going on around here. I think we're good to leave. Yeah, it looks like it's me. It really makes you think, what happened here that there is just lava everywhere, you know? Okay, I do see, whoa, hold on. You are invulnerable to ice, apparently, when you're spiked up. But down this way, can I just, I can't float up. Whoa, hold on. That must be just where I land, but you can see there's some kind of shoot here that I guess I just fall down like this. Okay, simple enough. That'll be the fourth hidden waddle -dee. Not really all that hidden, but hey, am I gonna complain? We're saving waddle either way. Okay, what about this one? Oh, I could fall back down again, get some extra coins. Guess I should have investigated that first. Luckily, if you jump, Kirby goes up the uh, staircases quite quickly. And can I get on top of this thing? Not really, okay. Then we'll keep going. I hope that's a good idea. Really hope I haven't missed anything. Let's go ahead and take this guy. This area seems pretty open. There might be something I can shoot at. Yeah, like these star blocks. Get rid of those. Gotcha. Oh, and there's one of these. All right, get the mouth mode for this then. Gotcha. 
I love doing that from a distance. It's always fun. Send the ball right back at him. And what about this? Okay, we're turning. All right, well, you're just gonna fly away. So I just gotta keep hitting these windmills and it looks like that'll probably just lead me to where I need to go. Because that just makes them spin. That's pretty nice. This isometric view can be a little tricky at times. Which way is the dead end? Because we always want to go that way first. Oh no! Whoops. Luckily that's not like a, a death. Because I know in older Kirby games you fall off the edge like that, just like in Mario. That's sort of like a, you die at the start again. Okay, well I don't want to hop down there just yet. I think I want to go across here. Got to deal with all three of these, ready? Nice, all right. And there's another windmill waiting for us. What will this windmill do then? Oh. Oh, there's our, I think our last hidden model date. Yeah. All right then, let's go for it. Grab some extra food. It is unfortunate that I missed that last challenge, but I guess we can land on this. Awesome. The lava boat. Miraculous that this thing stays in one piece up here. Okay, first things first. We'll go and save this waddle -dee. Open it up. Ta-da! Save the hidden waddle -dees. So that's all five of those out of the way. Okay, I can't quite get them from here. Okay, so for right now we will blast our way through wherever we can get a nice blue coin. It looks like we're supposed to go on this one platform, but if I can, there might be more behind it. Hmm. There's another windmill. Okay. What will this do? Aha! Oh, that's the challenge! Make all the windmill switches spin. That's interesting. So that time it was actually out of order. Typically they're in order of when you'd find them in the level. But I guess maybe you just can't always expect that. Anyways, we should be fine just to end the level now. We've gotten everything done. Let's go and save those little waddle -dees. Oh wait, there's a, is this gonna be a capsule? What is this? Whoa, okay, we got a recipe. Got the Space Ranger Blueprint. Now you can evolve the Ranger ability. Take it to waddle -dees weapon shop. How cool is that? All right, well, I'm glad I found that. Always good to keep an eye out for the blueprints because those are super duper hidden. Only the Waddle Dee back at the Waddle Dee 10 will really tell you if you missed one. Either way, everything seems nice and well completed here in, uh, what was it, Conquer the Inferno Road? Okay, so we already have the Cutter Kirby. What about here in the Volume 2? Ooh, the Bomber! Another Volume 1. Volume 3 is almost guaranteed to have something new, and it does. It is the Water Balloon Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff a huge amount of water into his mouth. Fill yourself up at a water pipe, wobble over to a patch of muck, and spray it away to clear a path forward. Thanks for cleaning up. All right, not bad. Get a couple of capsules, get a bunch of waddledies, and we're good to move forward. Nice to see we got that all done on the first try, you know? Ooh, there's some kind of like power factory. Burning, churning power plant. That's gonna be probably pretty hazardous with all this lava around. That combined with the power plant seems like a big mess. But back here we do have some more bonus levels opened up for a later time. Let's keep it going right over here. Burning, churning, power plant. So, all the typical things here, let's go for it. Whoa, yeah, this is already looking a little troublesome. Try to get rid of these a uh, woofies. Now that I know their name, I'll try my best not to forget. <laughs> I wonder, can I jump over? Not quite. It's so quiet. Very ambient, but sort of in a spooky way. All right, let's go for it. Almost gives me Crash Bandicoot vibes. Because if I could be original Crash Bandicoot, we were sort of exploring different laboratories and such. 
It sort of feels like that. Whoa, go in there. That was close. So we will have to be careful. All the machinery around here might dispel our doom. Oh no, I can't. I thought I could jump over. Whoa, that got rid of a bunch of health. See, I have to be really, really careful. Let's not do that again. So I'll go into this one over here. Oh, that just barely let me in in time. All right, go, go, go. You got it, Kirby. Well, actually, maybe I'll take fire ability because I could see that being useful because we have the dragon fire, which has that dash. Also, one thing I have to keep in mind is that when I do this, if I hold the ZL button, I think it is, to duck, and then I press the jump button, you can do that sort of power kick. If you do that and then jump after, you don't lose your speed. Oh, I got tricked. I wasn't looking. I gotta be really careful of that. You gotta watch how the pieces are fitting together. Oh my, I have the tiniest little sliver of health now, so I should be safe here, yeah? Oh, there is there something over here? Okay, not looking like it. What about on the side? No? Okay. So we'll wait here one more time. Get rid of a little the rid of the little monkey. There we go. Oh, you're snoozing, but I need that health over there, so I really don't want to risk anything. Perk up three with three cups of coffee. Alright. Get some caffeine in us. Oh, there's a coin still here. Oh, I don't trust this one. Ow. Oh no, bad timing, bad timing. What's in here? Whoa, there's a Waddle Dee, okay. I think our ability got squished, unfortunately, but we did save one out of the five Waddle Dees. Man, this area is intense. Oh, there's more up here. Whoa, what's all this? Infiltrate the control room, or I get another capsule. Huh. Anything else up here then? My ability's long gone, unfortunately, but. Yeah, I think that's the fastest way to get through most of this, is to do this motion there. It just speeds you up just a little bit more. Still have to be careful, we have very, very little health. But I have to look out for coffee now. Oh, speaking of which, you can get a sip right there. So there's one more somewhere. I love how it's next to a sleeping a wolfie. Because, you know, they, they probably were saving it for later. For when they wake up, if they need a little, little pick me up with the coffee. All right. There is a waddle dee here. How do I get you out of there? Oh, there it is, there it is. Whoa, don't get squished. Come on. And that should open up the little door, right? Gotcha. So we'll save you no problem. That's Waddle D number two. So still, still three more to find. Whoa, this will help though. Yeah, the, the pep drink, I think it's called, or something like that. Oh man, I'm a little scared about this one. Wait, ah, darn, that is so tricky. I think I gotta use my my fire dash a bit more. Ready? No, I messed it up. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh my. Okay, I gotta keep a rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, okay, that didn't work. How do you... Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I was trying to do that the hard way. All right. But even then, is it gonna come back up? Okay, this. Can get a drink there. And I missed a coin, but that's not too big of a deal. Oh no. Got it. And there's a little bonus area up here too, nice. Come on. So I wonder if there'll be another challenge in this bonus area. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, okay. What does this button do? That opens the door. All right. Hmm. This is all kinds of tricky. Cause I need to maybe move it over here. So there's no safe spot for it. 
So the goal is to sort of move it around so that it doesn't quell the flames, as far as I can tell. Because it'll loop around. Yep, just like that. And I sort of have to follow it, if I'm not mistaken. And now go. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, we made it. That is definitely a fun little puzzle. And we can duck in here to make the rope go faster. Whee! Pretty cool, that'll be a Waddle Dee saved. Save the hidden Waddle Dees, three out of five. Eventually, we'll have them all. Okay, so we're still a little worse for wear when it comes to our health, but we're good to go back this way. Oh man, this is looking a little problematic. Go ahead and torch some of those mummies. Oh wait, got it. Okay, park up with three cups of coffee. Maybe I could have slept with the, the sleeping ability. Hmm. I'll grab that real quick, and then we'll grab the vending machine. Ow. Got it. And we're going down. Okay, so I can destroy all this stuff now. That's good. Out of the way, out of the way. Giant wall of doom is coming. Oh, I can go into here, and there is a Waddle Dee waiting for us. Excellent. And can I just, yeah, I can just go down that way. No problem, another capsule. So I suppose I'm supposed to go into that room. I don't see anywhere else to go. I'll grab my cans back. Oh, the cans will even heal you. Oh wow, that's nice. Nice way to just pick up some health real quick. Can I go over the lava with the vending machine? Or is this like a, a little game where I have to fit in? Oh man. Oh, I gotta choose. I gotta choose. I gotta choose fast. There you go. Okay, I thought it was moving still. We're fine, we're fine. I gotta jump through. Wow. So overall we did okay. We're still missing one of the waddlebees. So before we go, oh wait, wait a minute. Aha! So there's the last in Model B. There's still a challenge we need to get done. And is there anything back this way? Not really. Huh, okay, so I don't know what that last challenge is. We'll find out later, or in a moment, I suppose. But for right now, at least all the other Model Bs were saved. What an exciting level. Clear the Sage, save the hidden Model Bs. And then, don't get squished, oh man. <laughs> so that's gonna be a bit of a challenge to not get squished in that level where there are plenty of things to squish us, but we do get a handmade Kirby. And, ooh, the uh, Chain Bomb Kirby. Chain your bombs together to exploit all of them at once. Hold the button down, aim, and throw to place them. The more bombs you connect, the more damage they'll do. And then a volume one. Another volume one, so you can skip that pretty quick. All right. So hopefully playing through this again and not getting squished won't be too bad, but we'll have to wait and see. What is our next level? Gathering of the Beast Council. Now that sounds like a tough one. Yeah, just one more little waddle need to save. Shouldn't be too bad, right? I, if, I, if I keep at it, might take a couple of attempts. We'll get through it and not get squished. Oh, there is something up there I'm not realizing the left, which I don't think, yeah, wouldn't have anything to do with the challenge, because the challenge was just don't get squished, but there could be a blueprint up there, so it might be worth checking. Oh, it's a little tricky to, come on, come on, you got it, Kirby. Oh, man, that is, that is weird. Hard to get in there, the angling of the camera doesn't really help. Let's try again. I go all the way around. Yeah, a little tedious, isn't it? Okay, wait again, right here. Got it. And then I won't jump until, yeah, it's ready. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, but this time I can go back real fast. Sort of. Once again, the camera's at a weird spot where it's hard to tell if I'm even lined up with it. Yeah, I'm not. That's so bizarre. Can Kirby not get in there? I can see the blueprint right there. He just, he wouldn't fit in. 
Oh no, and I get squished off the replay through the level. Again. Oh, come on. That's just not fair. Okay, I don't know if I maybe did that wrong, but that worked. It took me so many tries to get in. You got the deep sleep blueprint. Now you can evolve the sleep ability. Take it to Waddle weapon shop. Okay, so an upgrade to the sleep ability is interesting. Anyways, I have to replay through the level one more time so that I can get the don't get squished. But at least we're, we're making it somewhere, right? That's nice. All right, so I finally got it. Oh, Waddle Dee saved. Took a couple of tries, but we got there unsquished. That unlocks another challenge for us, which is cool. But more than that, over this way, we have our next level, Gathering of the Beast Council, which I'm sure is not gonna be easy. So let's give it a try. So clear the stage, save the hidden model bees, and we'll see how it goes. So I wonder if there's gonna be maybe like a boss rush here or something? Gathering of the Beast Council sounds like a gauntlet of enemies if I've ever seen one or ever heard one or something like that. Either way, we'll just sort of make our way through and hover the best. Oh wow, look at this. We have any ability we'd like. Out of all these, the one I haven't really played with today is the Wild Hammer. So we'll go for that, even get some extra health in case we need it. Whoa, yeah, look at you. It's, it's the first boss, Gormondo. Okay. Are we gonna have to beat everybody without getting hit? Is that the idea here? I'll try my best. Gormondo's back, he looks a little meaner than last time too. He's really spinning. I don't think I'm close enough for that, unfortunately. All right, let's, whoa. Okay, I didn't get hit by that, luckily. We are hitting him for big damage out. Whoa, dodge it. Not bad. Gotten a lot better at the game since we last faced Gormondo, so hopefully we can really bring it to him here. Ah, uh, oh, I do get hit. Okay, so if this does have to be a hitless run or something like that, we will have to try a couple times, but you know, that's sort of to be expected. So there's Gormondo taken down. Oh, in the car. Sure. I'll take this. Is there anything around here? Maybe any extra health or just something. And there are gonna be hidden model these, so it is worth exploring. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much. I think we're gonna move forward. Ow. Uh, oh, is there a timed? Yeah, there's a timed wobble these, so we might have to take some uh, shortcuts here. Like this one, across the corner. Oh, this might end up being real tricky. Get some extra bananas if we needed it, but I don't think we really do. Oh man, ah oh, darn, I was not, I did not see the fireballs there. Come on, we're fine, we're fine. We can still make it. Oh yeah, we have plenty of time. All right, we got it, save the hidden model these, no problem. So, is there anything else to do around here? Doesn't look like it. It really makes you think, maybe we are coming up on the end of the game if we're fight facing all the bosses again. Usually that's sort of an end of the game kind of thing. Nothing over that way, we do have some food. Luckily a lot more than we needed. I'll leave some just in case I do get beat up by this boss. Maybe I can backtrack for it. Okay, with our options here. I really like Buzzsaw Cutter. I think we'll go for that. Ooh, that's nice. Got a little secret capsule. All right, so what boss will we find next? Oh, it's the Silly Dillo. Oh no. Oh gosh, whoa, I almost got hit there. I'm trying to hit him. A little tricky at the moment. Ow. Yeah, I should've seen that one coming. Oh man, okay. Ah, I forgot about this. <laughs> I'm really not doing so well. Okay, now we can go crazy on him. Oh, we're doing so much damage, come on. I almost have him. Ah, oh, darn, that is so tricky. Come on, ah, oh, that is, I don't like that. 
I'm throwing that at you. I'm throwing this out. And then come on, get him, get him, get him. Got him. <laughs> he really is silly, isn't he? All right, see ya, Silly Dilla. Oh, and that's a challenge. Defeat Silly Dillo in a minute and 30 seconds. All right, well, I'm not seeing too much over this way. But we do have our second hidden waddle -dee. So I guess it's good to assume that maybe there'll be one after each boss fight. We have already missed a challenge. There's probably something with uh, Gormando. All right, so let's get over this way. We will grab the pipe mouth. We get a jump. There we go. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to jump there. Sort of hard to tell when you're rolling at such high speeds. But that's how I got it. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we'll go down. If, if the coins are leading us that way, it's probably the best move. And look at that. For our troubles, we get a little waddle -dee. I got you, buddy. That's three out of five already. So we got two after that boss fight this time. Yeah, I guess it would make sense, because we've, oh no, we've ran into dip five different bosses, right? Yeah, there has been. So you'd think that'd be enough, but, hmm, I guess we'll see. Maybe we won't face off with Bottle D again or something? Let's see who's next. Okay, what do I want this time? I want the bomb. I think, I think the bomb is always a really good one for boss fights. Oh, it's Chlorine, Carlin. Oh no, here we go again. My least favorite part. Oh, and I get hit right away. Darn, that stinks. All right, let's just go crazy on her. Maybe it'll be a timeline or time frame thing like last time. Yeah, I'm supposed to jump for that one, not slide. Go crazy and just throw out a bunch of damage. Wow, that was close. We are handling her a lot better than the first time I ever fought her though, so. Gotcha. That was good. We only took one little bit of damage. And she's out for the count. Oh, we got the roller coaster. That's cool. I will poke around real fast just to make sure there's not anything here I could be missing. Because you never know. Hmm. Not seeing much. Good the chuck. What about on the sides of this? Oh, oh, here we go. We get a blueprint, awesome. Now you have the Storm Tornado blueprint. Now you can evolve the tornado ability, take it to the Waddle weapon shop, and that's why it's always worth it to be diligent. It's a sneaky one as well. Nothing on that side though. So now we have the roller coaster, oh boy. This'll be fun. Because we've only done this once before. The camera angle is not what I was expecting. Here we go. So I can tilt to grab the coins and such. I already missed one. Got it. Ah, oh, I went a little too soon. If I could just hit that button real fast. I'm gonna go on this side, hit that button. Got it. Going real slow up, up this way. Okay, so far so good. Going down quick. Oh man, that was really close. Ow, okay, I did that a little too soon, I'm sorry. We didn't quite get through without taking any damage or anything. Oh, but we're at the end of the level already. Okay, so it was only three boss fights. I thought it was gonna be all of them. But hey, would you look at that? Another Waddle Dee saved. We did miss one. That stinks, I thought I was being real diligent there, but apparently not. But maybe there's still more? What's back this way? Maybe I haven't missed it. I say that, but there really isn't much here, is there? There's something up this way, though. Whoa, a bunch of coins. All right, so another capsule. Can I get inside of here? No. That's a little unfortunate. I definitely, I missed a Waddle Dee somewhere. Not exactly sure where. Okay, for right now though, we'll complete the level normally. Also, we'll be able to find out what the other challenges were that way. So let's go for it. 
Definitely a fun challenge, though. All right, so we cleared the stage, saved four out of the five hidden model Ds, and we need to venture deep into the secret passage. I didn't even see a secret passage, so we'll have to look through for that. And maybe that's where the last Waddle Dee will be. All right, we already have that one. We'll have this one, because it's volume one. Here we go, volume three. That's new, the Scissor Lift Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouth mode ability after he flew through, flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire scissor lift into his mouth. Raise and lower yourself to reach items and dodge enemy attacks. You can also spit the lift out while extended to reach the top of tall platforms. Pretty cool. All right, we got one new thing. That's all I'm asking for is a little bit of progress each time. Okay, so there is still more after that. Of course, we have the Beast Pack's final stand. Whoa. That sounds like it's gonna be tough. But either way, we're not ready just yet. We open up a bonus level down here, but more than that, we need to hop back in and try to get the rest of those Waddle Dees. Oh, did I find it right at the very beginning? I think I did. Wow, how did I miss this? Either way, we do get a capsule. Is there anything more? Aha, venture deep into the secret passage completed, and we get the crash ability. Gotcha. So I'll definitely be able to use this for a fight somewhere, but I don't know what my other challenge is. It was after the Silly Dillo fight, so I'm gonna try to beat Clawrun without taking damage and see if that gets anything done for us, because that might be what we're missing. You know, how did I miss this ladder? I was so focused on everything on the floor, I didn't even see the ladder up here. And wow, okay, there we go. <laughs> Save the hidden waddle D right after call run. Unfortunately, I did take some damage, so I'll we'll have to redo it, but I don't even know if that's it. So like, if that is it, we'll find out, because what else could it be? It could be maybe not taking damage on this, so I'll try my best at that, we'll end up seeing, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be no taking damage or doing it under a certain time frame. Both of those, I didn't manage doing, so. We'll just keep looking around. Okay, so I did get a capsule that gave us a new one, Gigant Sword. Uh, this big old sword is definitely gigant. Ick. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from an attack, then go on the offensive. And I think everything else here is probably gonna be a duplicate or something. Yeah, this is all volume one. So it looked like that, yeah, we need to go, what was it? Um to Clarion and defeat her without taking any damage. And that'll be our last Waddle Dee. So as you can see, uh, right here. Yeah, beat Clarion without getting hit one more time. I got it this time for sure. All right, let's see. I think I got it. I don't think I took any damage. Down goes Clarion and do we get the challenge done? Beat Clarion without getting hit. Awesome. So, there we go, that's all the Waddle Dees collected. I just need to get out of here and complete the level. Okay, with that level done, there's another Waddle Dee. All Waddle Dees saved. And then we can just fly over this way, tackle the next level, the Beast Pack's final stand. Oh man. So what is left? How many Beast Pack members are we going to tackle in one episode? I guess we're gonna find out. All right then, so now I have to be super diligent because I keep on missing stuff every time. But, uh, see, like, okay, you weren't looking at me. I would feel bad to go at you then, but then you turned to attack me. Okay, so we're obviously supposed to head down there. So before I do that, is there anything at all up here I could get? Not really looking like it. So it looks like we're going deeper into another power plant. Oh no, don't miss out on the coins. The Kirby's sliding down the ladder. That's cute though, I like it. Uh, whoa, 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 I wanted, okay, I, I guess I didn't need the food. We're at full health. We're taking this elevator downwards. Oh man. What do we do? We are going to be deep, deep underground. But here we are. Oh, and they're waiting for us. Go for it, let's throw these homing bombs out. I think it was a good choice to keep with these because it's a very nice ability. There's a lot of damage. And it sort of gets rid of a lot of guys at once and it'll go over to whoever's closest, which is nice. It doesn't always do the most damage, I suppose, but it's usually pretty good against bosses. All right, defeat all the beasts in the starting area. 
Okay, not bad. Oh, what else is there? Okay, we, we have to see five bottle D's here, so I'll definitely be looking out for them. Grab some corn. Hmm. Oh, there's a Kirby wanted poster. Is that gonna be something? Remove five B space wanted posters. So we'll have to look for four more. Oh man, here we go. I'll try my best with this. Got a duck in cover. Okay, that was wrong. I wonder if I can, yeah, I can just knock you out like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta hide. Oh, I wasn't quite fast enough. But I need to hide behind the things. Come on, here's our first waddle -dee. So I'll jump out of that. And boom, got it. This is one out of five. Like we said before. So I have to eat this back up. Not quite done with it. I'll wait for that to just be a pop up again. Because there's no way to really dodge it besides just hiding behind these walls. Yep, there we go. And now we're good. Gotcha, gotcha, and grab that health. Whoa, big bunny and some needle ability as well, which I don't think I need. Can we hop over this? I don't need the needle. All right, we'll keep going. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's the big goop monster. All right, big goop monster, you're going down, I think. Can I get rid of you with this? I think I need the water ability, right? Oh, I see another one in poster, right over here. It's gonna be two out of five. Hopefully I haven't missed any, because I can imagine they're quite sneaky. Keep losing my ability. Hmm. For right now we'll do that. But as you can see, throwing this out really doesn't seem to be doing much. So I might have to go ahead and get the water balloon mouth Kirby. Oh man. Oh man, my bomb ability, it's gone. Okay, he's firing that stuff everywhere. I wanted to land right here so I can get some more things. This may have gotten a lot more difficult without an ability, but I'll try my best to get through. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't float with something in your mouth. Trying to make sure we get rid of every enemy though. Aha, here we go. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this to move on with the level, but I do know that way back where we were, yeah, right over there, you need to see that Waddle Dee. That's the goal. If we can get rid of the rest of them along the way, I'm sure that'd be pretty good. It's all of you. All right, that's good. A bunch of food too, so if I was low on anything, not anymore. Crazy how big they are. So we're pretty big right now as Kirby just filled with water, but nothing compared to these guys. Oh, I need to get that guy way down there, but I don't think I'll be able to. What are the odds that it is just to get rid of every enemy again? I feel like they wouldn't do the same mission twice. Okay, we used all that water. We have a coin. And I suppose I'm supposed to go to the right for more water, okay. Don't mind if I do get a quick refill. And we'll get rid of you and save the Waddle Dee. I don't quite know what we're doing to move forward with the level. That's sort of a bit of a mystery to me still. Look, let's drain you of your goo. Oh, we got it, no problem. Two out of five for hidden waddle -dees. And I guess with that, we can keep going. So I will drop the water then. Going back to normal Kirby. Hopefully we get an ability soon. Isn't this the way we came in from though? Yeah. Oh, but it opened something up. Gotcha. That's an interesting way to set it up, isn't it? All right, so we're gonna go with Vending Machine Mouth. Oh, let's look around for one of the posters real fast. I don't think there's any. But only two out of five so far, so there's gotta be some more coming up. You. And I see this. Yeah, that's something, it's a button. Press the button, and I guess we get some kind of protection. That's good. Ow. I guess it was a little too quick for the protection. I'll keep going through that. So let's keep up with this, destroying these things so that I can get 
or Bun Suppress. Got it. I wonder what that's gonna do. Okay, it's just gonna give us a capsule. Once again, a volume one capsule. These really are underwhelming now just because there's nothing I can get from it. I wonder if I can get you over there. Yeah, I can. Deal with that problem ahead of time. I did see a Waddle over to the left. I don't quite know what we gotta do to get to it, but we'll figure it out. Oh, I can't get up here at the vending machine. Oh, but I see what I have to do. So back over this way. Gonna shoot down all those, those blocks. And now I can, oh, okay. Well, luckily I don't think I need it anymore. I didn't really mean to do that. But there's one of the vending, not vending machines, sorry. Uh, posters, that'll be three out of five. Okay, we'll have to be real fast about this. Oh my. Hmm. Can I get the tornado? Got it. The floor tornado. Whoa, I went right past him. Three out of five for the hidden waddle these. Good news there is that we haven't missed anything, right? So we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves here, because remember, there's a poster uh, right there. Maybe I could get it more easily with the ice ability. Oh, whoa! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. If you get two abilities at once, it'll randomly pick one for you out of all the abilities. I forgot that was a thing. Okay, I wanna get rid of you. And then I wanna try, yeah, doing that. That'll be three out of five. Hopefully I haven't missed any, but that's sort of the nature of this game, right? Sometimes you just do. Come on, Kirby, you can do it. Almost, almost, there it is. And we're going in. Oh, there's another Waddle He's way up there. What do we have to do for this one? Oh, it's one of those big crocodiles. Will this even damage you? I don't think so. We're about to come back with an ability. Hmm. I'll try one more time just in case. Ah! Yeah, that does nothing to him. I now have to swim in all this dangerous water with all these crocodiles. I am seeing like cracks in the wall to the left, but not quite a way to get in there just yet. I'm sure we'll find the one boat ability up ahead, right? Something like that. Perhaps, perhaps. These guys are so cute though. They're big and scary, but I love how they waddle their little legs. Okay, that was really good. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Aha, there it is. So I, I, I was correct with that. So I'll eat this up. I see a wanted poster to our right, I think it'll be. Just saw it for like a glimpse, yeah. There's four out of five. That's good stuff. I just need to find one more and hope I haven't missed it. But I think, yeah, I can get rid of you guys, no problem now. Turn around. I'll try to be diligent here so that we can make sure we get everything because there was a wall to crack in it right here. Can I get it? I got it. Okay, just some extra food and such. But definitely worth, ow. I'm trying to deal with, because whatever the last challenge is, is still a bit of a mystery. There's another hole in the wall. Oh, okay, another capsule. I don't really need. There's claw marks all over the walls everywhere. The beasts don't take very good care of their stuff, do they? Gotcha. Okay, so I can grab that. That'll be four out of five hidden model D saved. Where is that last one? Right now we just have to go back the way we came. I don't see anything here, so I think we're good to drop that because, you know, we're gonna go up to a ladder here in a moment or a jump. It did look like there was something. Oh, it's a crash ability. Every time we run into the crash ability, we usually need it for something. Funny that he didn't drop on me on the way in. That was nice of him. So what are we gonna do with the crash ability? We'll have to wait and see. Probably a boss fight of some sort. Oh, that is looking like a little arena to fight a boss. Where is that last wanted poster? 
checkpoint. Oh my, here we go. So let's just get the crash in. Whoa! Destroy who I can. Is that even damaging you? Hard to tell. Gotcha. Yeah, I think the spike guy's invulnerable when he's all spiky. Gotcha. All right, give me the next one. Oh, is that it? Oh, I suppose that was it. Okay, never mind. So we're gliding. Oh okay, yeah, we can go up and down. I'm looking for a poster. I don't know if there'll be a poster in a flying section. That'd be too much to ask of, of us. Who knows? But I will get this windmill. Gotcha. So I'll try to just keep up with these as much as we can. Ooh, that was good. Some tasty food. Because you never know what that challenge might be. So I'm, I'm trying to be careful and make all the right moves with everything, just in case. But there is another capsule, volume two. We got a checkpoint though, which is nice. We're my way off in that direction. And there's our last Waddle Dee, I think. Five out of five. So at least we got that out of the way. Pretty good, pretty good. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. I guess I wasn't fast enough. Try that again. Um, Maybe I was just a little too high. There we go, see that time I did it. <laughs> right at the end, I fall off. Okay, let's take a good look around this area. There has to be some food. I don't want to retry. I think we did fine. Uh, but I'm not seeing that last poster. Darn. Oh gosh, we got you again. Big. Oh, you're actually different. You're like a fiery turtle. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to eat him. Okay, we'll, we'll get. Ow, I'm getting beat up by everybody. There you go. Oh, I guess we're looking for the cone ability somewhere? All right, I'm just gonna dodge you. If I don't need to fight you, why would I? And there's the last poster. Okay, so we can get that out of the way. All I need to do is hop up here, hit it like that, and boom, challenge done. So there's either like a cone or a speaker. Okay, I gotcha. So we need to hide behind all the debris here, but we get a volume three capsule. So I'm so happy we've gotten everything so far. The next challenge still hasn't popped up. Or at least it, it could have maybe not popped up. Whoa. Come on. Yeah, we gotta be careful not to fall in the lava because these platforms are sinking. Oh, that was close. But we made it, I think. Boom. What do I do here? Whoa, 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 whoa. jump. Sorry, I can't get that last coin. I don't want to risk it. Ooh, we went right through. That's gotta hurt. And we're at the end. Okay. Let me look around real fast and make sure there's no extra challenge that maybe I missed somehow. I don't know. I guess not. Weird. I don't know what it could have been. Either way, we finished the level. We saved more waddledies. What was that last thing I missed? Don't fall in the lava. Oh, we got it. While using Cone Mouth. Oh, so I guess I didn't fall into the lava all the way up until the end there for the Cone Mouth part. It was weird that it didn't give it to me until that moment, but either way, what kind of capsules do we get here? Some volume one repeats. Lots of volume one. But you have Spook Step, <laughs> adorable. And a volume three, look at this, and a, a Primal Woofy. Original Wasteland is the birthplace of the Beast Pack. So it's no wonder the Woofies found there are more wild than their far off cousins. They're more aggressive in every way, from their bark to their bite. Their primal ancestors must be pleased. All right. So original wasteland is where all the beast pack originally came from, thus the name. Interesting. Always love learning the lore of games like this. Either way, we got everything done on the first try. How cool is that? All Waddle saved for the beast pack's final stand. So what could possibly be next? Could this be the final boss of the game? Knock it down, Waddle Dees. 
Who do we got? In the presence of the king. Is this King Dedede again? The Waddledees helped you open the gate that was blocking your way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this territory. I'm really confused. We already fought King Dedede. I guess it could be him again. Well, we've completed everything else up until this point. Let's go for it. In the presence of the king. Let's go for it. Oh man. So what are we doing around here? I guess there won't be too many secrets. There usually isn't for uh, boss fight stages. Oh, we have a meta Mato just to charge back up our health. And what ability do we want to use? I have a lot of options. Maybe I'll keep with ranged. Range is always a bit of a tough one. But you know what? We'll go for it. I have a good feeling. It is! It's King Dedede again. What's going on? He doesn't look so good. What in the world? His primal nemesis, Forgo Dedede. Whoa, oh man, he is not happy. Go, 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 run Kirby, run. Whoa, fire tornadoes? So he is being possessed by something because he gets possessed by something every game it seems. Wow, and so far it's all four elements. Okay, I took damage, which probably isn't so good. Come on, we're blasting him. So far we're not doing so bad. I would not be surprised at this fight. Oh my gosh, he is a quick one. If this fight has multiple stages, I would not be surprised. Come on, keep backing that. So this really is a King DDD fight, but souped up even more. We got him about halfway down now, and I could charge up my shots here, but I think it's just more effective just to constantly sprinkle these little hits at him. Okay, go. And while we have taken some damage, we haven't taken too much. I think these moves wouldn't be too bad to dodge if I need to do this without taking damage for the challenge. Which that's how, oh, okay, whoa. This one is the tough one, but even there, I got it. Come on, come on, we almost got him. There we go. Okay, can I take his hammers? Ah, oh, I, I sort of missed my chance, I guess. He is not happy. Give me that hammer. Yeah, all right, all right. He is. Really looking primal right now, he's running around on all fours. Oh man, okay, maybe I should just get my other ability back. I'm not feeling this one. I need range as he's charging at me from every angle. Come on. Okay, more fire tornadoes are coming in. Dodging over definitely helps. Remember to like slide and then jump, because it doesn't slow you down after. This is the toughest part, is when he do, does these jump slams. There's very little time in between them, and I'll it straight in that lava. I can just keep my distance and sprinkle these shots in. I think that's really all we need. Whoa, here he comes. Run, run. <laughs> he is savage right now. An absolute beast. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, it's gonna be tuckered out for a moment, so we're just gonna keep blasting him. He is almost done for, but don't get too ahead of ourselves. Oh, that lava pool he makes is really, really something, but we got him. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. Could that really be it? Have we defeated the beast pack? Don't get hit by Forger DDD's fire attack. All right, well I did that. Are you okay, DDD? I'm sorry I had to do it to you again, but you better give me my friend back. Where's Elflin? He stole Elflin to begin with. Gotta be around here somewhere. All right, well stage cleared, good job. 
So clear the stage, don't get it by Forgordidi's attacks, clear it by using a second level evolved ability. Huh, I thought this was a second level evolved ability. Maybe it's a third. You okay, DDD? Now that you're not possessed anymore? Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay, things are looking a little bit better. What's that? Is there more? Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Moral woofies, beasts of all sort are pouring in. We gotta go. Run, Waddle Dees. One of them tripped. Oh no, come on, little buddy. Go, go, go. This is not good. Oh, DDD saving them. Come on, Kirby, you can hold it. Oh, this is so sweet, though. He's gonna throw him? He's sacrificing himself for the Waddle Dee. Oh. Oh my goodness. I hope he's gonna be okay. Lab Discoverer. What is this? Automatic language detection activated. Authentication system activated. What is this? Authenticating. Authenticating. Entry code approved. Initiating facility navigation protocol. We're in a big computer? Did we win? Welcome visitors to the Dream Discoveries Tour of our science facility, Lab Discovera. Whoa. On this thrilling tour, you'll be introduced to the ultimate life form, specimen IDF-86. From the moment IDF-86 arrived on our planet, it began a campaign of destruction that threatens the native wildlife of our entire world. Luckily, our research team managed to capture it before it could complete its invasion. Once it was contained, our lab began studying IDF-86's spatial teleportation ability. Research that laid the groundwork for the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. This is so odd. Oh no, all the waddledies are being forced to work? We gotta save them. That's what the beast packs have been However, collecting them for. 30 years after our research began, a warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form separated from the main specimen escaped in the aftermath. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal Capsule here on the top level of Lab Discoverer. What? There is and so much to digest here. Let's meet the ultimate life form, Specimen IDF-86. We have a lot of options for abilities. I'm gonna go with good old Bud Saw Cutter. Man, oh man. So what is this about? This is its own level, Lab Discoverer. So there was an alien, I, I think? that has come to this planet and they captured it, but I can only imagine it broke free. That's what's caused everything to be apocalyptic. Everything is so forgotten. Is because this thing broke free, right? Oh my goodness, what is? It looks sort of like Elflin. Oh, hello. Take a good look, pink intruder. Isn't this a beautiful sight? You're not even seeing the great one in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. Long ago, the Great One granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered a land of dreams. No way! Wait, so the people of Dreamland, the Waddledies, were originally from here? Is that the idea? Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power. We, the ones they left behind in this forgotten land. And now, the time has finally come. Oh no, Elflin! 
elf one is the other half. So we have to get through you. That's right, this small creature here is the great one's missing half. I clued in on it, they look pretty similar. They got the same ears. Finally, after all our planning and effort, we can help the great one reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years. If you dare to stand in our way, we'll feast on your hide. Oh man. So I don't even know what their name is. But we're going against this giant lion guy. Come on, come on, gotcha. First gotta take on their little wolf pack. But the leader of the beasts themselves, but the forgotten land and the beast pack being the forgotten ones, we were the ones who forgot about them, the waddle beasts. I, I think that's what it means. I think that's where everyone from Dreamland was originally from here a long, long time ago. He doesn't seem happy. King of the beasts, Leongar. Whoa, he is not playing around. Oh gosh, that was close. Just gonna try to hit him where I can. And when we hit him, hit him where it hurts. That's, ow, that was crazy. I was not expecting that all, uh, uh, overall. But uh, we're just gonna keep going. Okay, I dodged it that time. Oh, that actually still hit him, nice. So far we're handling him pretty well. All things considered. There we go, that did some good damage. This is a very reliable ability, you know? So I can just keep throwing this out and then keep my distance. We might be able to get him here. But this is, oh no, he's not happy. Oh, he's really worked up. But this is such a tough situation. Oh man, ow. Because he just wants to be in our world too. They haven't really done anything wrong, have they? I mean, yes, I guess, because they're forcing the wall to be, oh my gosh, that's scary. I don't like it, okay. Oh no. Wow, this guy's power is something else. Because apparently he was if the voiceover thing was talking about him, he's sort of the the specimen that came, no, I think that might have been Alflin. Okay. Trying to sort of piece together the story here as we're playing against the scariest boss fight of all time. <laughs> Maybe a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> this guy is definitely intimidating. Okay, he's going for another super blast, so that one buzzsaw is probably not gonna get done when I need to. All right, throw this over. Not quite. If I can just get it between me and him, that's not quite, okay. So he does like a, a variant between like an X and V formation when he throw those claw blasts out. And I'm, I'm not really hitting him very much here. Okay, that's a bit better. And now this one's always tricky to dodge because it's so huge. But we got it. I think he's about to, well, do that again. Darn, I, I gotta get that. Got it. Okay, now we're both quite low on health, but I think I can get him. Oh, I missed him with the big shot there. But that one got him. Come on, I got him, that got him, come on, let's hit him. We got him, Leongar. Leongar? Those are so hard to pronounce. We took him out though. Oh man. We saved ya, Elflin. Don't worry, buddy. You're all okay now. Hooray! <laughs> Reunited with our good friend. You, you dare. Plan ruined, important plan, needed labor, opened vortex, found workforce, brought here, and yet, error made, irksome pink contaminant. 
Careful planning. Now wasted. No more planning. No more patience. Instead, everything shall be consumed. That's scary. I don't like it. What's happening? Oh my goodness. This is not good. The beasts are back. What happened to Dedede? Oh no. What is that thing? The goop ball of doom. It's consuming all the beasts. Including Liangar. I don't like this one bit. We gotta get out of here. What is over here? Okay, well, let's quickly grab some health. I'm going, Elflin, I'm going. Oh wow, it's a lot more lively in here. Lots of plants. Well, I'm glad I'm back with Elflin, but I think we should keep running. Oh no, that door's not gonna hold. Uh oh, here it comes. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo. What in the world is this monster? What out of this world? It is not looking very friendly, but I'm supposed to be throwing stuff at it, aren't I? All right, well, I think I chose the best ability for it then, if we're supposed to be throwing stuff while we're running away. Please don't get me, ah! Oh man. Gotcha. Throw another one back, and then keep going. So far, it's so good, actually. Oh no, I'm gonna throw that backwards sometimes. It doesn't work so well. Yeah, you're more than halfway down already. But this may just be the first phase. Of this amalgamation of monsters. This is truly something to nightmares. Why do Kirby games get so creepy? <laughs> Not always, but there are just some creepy enemies in Kirby games. Oh man, what we got you, was that enough? Were we able to slay the slime? Whoa, watch it Kirby, he's got the smooth moves. No! Wait, they're gonna combine again. This is not good, it's gone. Our job's not done yet. We need to go save our friend. What will we do here? It's so silent. Looks like we're not even quite yet at the final fight. How are our challenges doing? Did we, I guess there aren't any challenges here. Yeah, that was the previous level. And now we have every ability to choose from. I just really like this ability though. I think I, I worked the best with it. So I think I'll keep with this one for now. It, it, it's a good, reliable one for me. Anything else up here? I don't think there's any collectibles in this level. Let's go for it then. What is happening here? It's like a landing pad. This thing is on a whole nother level from anything we've ever faced. Ultimate life form, Fecto Alphalus. Wow, and it is really far away. Oh man, I don't think my bus holes can hit it from here. Ow! Okay, that hurts. It's beautiful though. The lighting and everything. I'm just trying to move, just trying to move. Ah! All right, come on, charge that up. Gotcha. It does definitely look like Elflin. So this must be the original life form that came to the planet wreaking destruction. Okay, so normally running also gets us away from that. Oh man, just barely dodge that one. Ah, uh, couldn't really get too many hits in though. Wow! That is beyond fast. Okay. One more. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite dodge that one. 
Come on. What is going on with those? All right, we got it, we got it. That was pretty good. Just trying to throw this stuff out while I'm dodging can be tricky at times, but pretty useful, and that's why I like the Ecto, or not the Ecto Cutter, but the uh, the Buzzsaw Cutter. I'm okay, getting the, the words mixed up. Oh man. Because that Rainbow Buzzsaw does so much. Wow, wow. All right, throw this back out. Because of course, when we played Kirby Star Allies a couple years ago, we were on into quite a few crazy bosses, but I feel like this is just a level beyond. And the story and everything leading up to here, this has been crazy. Okay, uh, that's not quite what I wanted. I am getting a little bit low on health. Back to Alpha definitely doesn't hit lightly. Okay, what is going on with that? Um. Okay, whoa. Ah, oh, I tried to dodge it, that really hurts. Come on, Kirby, get out of there. I can't move. Oh no. We gotta go. See, that's sort of my risk right now is that I can't take too many more hits. Oh no, not really what I wanted. Oh, did we get you? Halfway down. Maybe this is just the beginning. The sky is... Color I can't even describe. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Kirby. Do I climb this? No, okay. Whoa! I wasn't ready, I was distracted. Okay, I don't think I can hit Facto Alphalus when it's doing that. Oh, I took damage from that? Darn. And that's not quite hitting you. What is this thing? Okay, no, that wasn't real. Oh, is it healing? It better not be healing. It better not be healing. I gotta put a stop to that. Okay, it did heal, but not by much. Oh, darn. I need that back. This thing is tough. This is definitely gonna take us a couple of tries, isn't it? So I didn't make much progress there. Ugh. Because it had to heal itself, of course. I should have brought my own healing, huh? Really should have thought about that. <laughs> but hey, we really haven't been doing that bad in this episode. Ow. Those big swipes have been really getting me. I think out of everything, that's the thing I need to be the most careful about. Oh, that's not quite gonna hit you, is it? That will, though. Oh, you are so low. But, oh, we're much lower. Darn, it's always those swipes with the spear that seem to get me. So, I know what I'm going against here now. That'll give us a big advantage. All right, attempt number two, let's go. Okay, I got it down to this halfway point again, this time with much more health though. So hopefully from here, I can handle it. It's still not easy, for sure, but hopefully a lot more handleable. Very hard to tell where those are gonna slam down. But with this one, I just have to avoid the center, I think, as much as possible, and to the sides. Okay, so we know that he's gonna dive in like that. So far, we're handling it. Oh, darn, but I had to get hit by the fire trail. Okay, where are you gonna land this time? Right over here, okay, so we, we know the deal with this. I need to destroy these. Oh, that one's fake. Okay, this is the real one then. I, I see how this works now. Okay, so they only healed, once again, a little tiny bit. Oh, darn. And that is all sorts of tricky, because I'm so focused on dodging that I don't actually end up getting any hits in. And that's where it can be real tough. Can I dodge it? Ah, oh, not quite. Just barely dodge Alan. Okay. 
Time to run, time to run. If I can just throw this out while we're moving. You're getting so much lower now. See, those strikes right there. Oh yeah, that last one. Come on. So tough to dodge at. Because it takes up so much. Oh man, so now we're dodging these spears and the meteors. Okay, throw this out and then we gotta go. So the timing for it is to jump over the slice. So I guess I could just float through it, but I, I don't know if I wanna risk that. It's not too bad the time, it's just there's always so much else happening at the same time, it's hard to focus on. So hopefully, we get some clarity with familiarity, you know, like if we just get more use of the other moves that Facto Alpha is thrown out. Okay, I dodge out. Now I can hit you with this. Gotcha. Ow. It's gonna be one more, and I dodge it. There it is. Come on, you are so low on health. We can actually do something here, but you're gonna heal up again. Oh, is it this one? It's not this one. Um, is it this one? It is this one. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Almost there. One more hit you do, but there's Elflin. Can we just save you? We gotta eat Elflin? No, okay, we're just getting you off of there. Oh, because I don't know how I feel about eating my friend. What about that? Come on, Kirby! Did we do it? You okay? <laughs> Hi! Uh-oh. It's melting. Where is it gonna go? Oh, I don't like this at all. Such incredible power. Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad. What is it, Kirby? Whoa, is that... Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar? That's Dreamland. Oh no, it's pulling Popstar through that huge vortex. It wants your world to collide with this one. Oh no. We have to stop it, but how? No way, no way. <laughs> Are we gonna be big truck, Kirby? Let's go for it. It's the only answer to become a big truck. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow, here we go. Big rig mouth. <laughs> okay, let's dash. Oh, it's playing the invincibility music. Come on, Kirby. We got a hole over. Oh, and there's some coins to grab too. Oh, the monsters are getting real creepy. Can I jump on top of that? I guess so, I can charge through it. The controls are a little difficult. Big Rig's a bit heavy. Oh, those are pieces of Dreamland crashing in. Come on, come on. Ah! All right, we're on a different highway. We're fine, we're fine. This has been so exciting. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say we're not gonna make that. Come on. Not really paying attention to the rules of the road here when the road's in shambles. We're not even on a road anymore, we're on a collapsed building. Come on, we're doing good. Traction on this thing is really difficult to maintain. All right, keep it going. Got it, Kirby. I don't think this is me right now. Yeah, I'm not really controlling this. Oh man, those are huge. We got this, Kirby. Just gotta dodge it. Oh, ah, we're done, we're tapping me. All right. That was interesting. So supercharge. Whoa! Get him, Kirby! Oh my. That was the size of an entire building. Come on, keep pushing through! 
Oh no. Elf one's helping. Whoa! I gotta tap and I gotta. Okay, this is a lot of buttons to press. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got him, we got him. We did it! Oh man. Oh, they're getting blown away. Are you okay, Kirby? Did we do it? We're back on Dreamland. Is this Planet Popstar? It is, but maybe not for long. Everything is being pulled in. Elf one's going in to help. Wait for us. I need to close the connection between worlds. Even if it takes all the power I've got. Please be careful, Elf one. Hey, Kirby. Thanks for everything. Aww. Oh no, Elf One saved us, but are they gone? It's so sad. Wait a minute, maybe I spoke too soon? Will we know? I don't know what's going on next. I think we're at the end. Yes, yeah, so there it goes. It's just Elf One came back. We did it. All right, so I think we did. We, we completed Kirby and the Forgotten Adventure. And it's played the same opening song from the first episode. So cool. So you can see we also even go back to uh, on a pop star. We go back to Waddle Town. Man, what an episode. So much happened today. And just in general, this game is so cool. Oh man, of course I love Kirby games, but I think this topped the charts for me. This might be the best Kirby experience I've ever had. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. But are we back home now with our little picture collage? Oh, we're having like nice little meals. So everyone's getting along now. The, the, the foxes and the wolves are getting along with the waddledies. Everybody's just together now, that's awesome. Because as we learned in today's episode, they were left behind in this forgotten land. And all they wanted was to get back with us to all be friends again. And now we finally have that. We can put our differences aside and move forward together. That's so cool. And I wonder how that'll affect future games. Will we see more of these enemies? Or I guess not even enemies anymore, you know? That'd be so interesting. But look at this. What an adventure. But now it's just so cool to see them re-explore both, I guess, Popstar and the Forgotten Land. It was a really fun game through and through. And we're not quite done in today's episode, believe it or not, there is more. We need to go through and get all the bonus Waddle Dee challenges in that final level against King Dedede. And then we also need to do the bonus challenge levels throughout this world. So, there's a lot to do still. Uh, we're not quite done, but this was one of the experiences I was most looking forward to in 2022. And it has been, so far, so worth it. There's Meta Knight, who I haven't even taken on they're in the Coliseum. So that's gonna be an upcoming episode. There's a bunch of bonus stuff we still need to do in this game, I feel. That's usually how Kirby games are, there's always a ton of bonus content afterwards. But yeah, this is just one of many things I wanted to do in this year. Of course, we've been playing other new games like, like Star Wars, but I'm just so happy we're able to enjoy this one as well. And I'm hoping I can play more Kirby games throughout this year. We'll have to wait and see, of course. There's, of course, still like a lot of other games coming out, so I'll have to juggle a little bit. I also wanted to go back and finish Kirby Fighters 2, because I started that, but I didn't get very far in. So, lots of stuff like that to look forward to, but as you can see, everybody's taking a nap together. Lots of good feelings, right? I love it. 
Oh yeah, and one of the Howl rooms. We haven't found any of those, so I'll have to look around for them later on. Howl rooms are usually secret little rooms that they hide in, in some of the some parts of the game. Yeah, I'd love love to hear if you guys have been able to play Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Your thoughts on it as well. Did you guys enjoy it as much as I did? Oh, there's like a little portal there. Maybe that's hitting towards something. I don't think there was a portal there before. I guess we'll have to go and see eventually. Oh, there's Kirby Elflin and Vidana Waddle It wasn't in our adventure very much, but would have been if we played co-op. What a great time. Oh my, it's Liangar. To be continued. Whoa. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. What a cool opening. All right, so of course, we're not quite done in today's episode like I said before. There's still more to check out. And here we are. Oh, is there a volume four? Okay. Gotcha Machine Volume 4 is now available. There are even more new figures to collect. That has to be the last one, I'd imagine. Oh, look at this! The Waddle Dee Live Corner Stage has been rebuilt. Put in a request to hear your favorite tunes. That's so adorable. Oh, there's DDD up there. The Ranger ability can now be evolved, as well as the Sleep ability and the Tornado ability. Want to increase the power of a copy ability? Good news, copy, copy abilities can now be powered up at Wild Lady's Weapon Shop. How cool is that? And there's still more. Hi, Elfin. Oh, up here. Yeah, there's Carl in. Oh, she wants our attention. Huh. Hey, look, Carl is visiting our town. She looks a bit upset. Hmm. Ah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? When things finally calmed down and the animals came to celebrate with us, Liangar was missing. I bet Coraline has been looking for him. She might have found something. We should ask her what's going on. All right then, so I guess we'll do that. When I served the connection between our two worlds, I used up all my power. I blacked out. But Quarrelin found me, she kept me alive. That's how I was able to see you again, Kirby. So if she needs help, then I volunteer. Okay, we'll definitely help Quarrelin, but that might be something we'll save for the next episode. I do want to talk to Wise Waddle just in case we missed any of the blueprints he could cue us in on. How do you do, Kirby? Would you like to hear the latest info from around the world? Sure. Ah, King Dedede has, has a blueprint. Isn't he in town? The most popular Waddle Dee Cafe item is Maxim Tomato. It has it's had 3,827 and four orders. So far, the total number of woofies he defeated is 604. And the combined total of over 669 million woofies have been defeated worldwide. Would you like to hear more? Not for now. Anytime you'd like to learn more, I'll be more than happy to share. Okay, so let's go and talk to Waddle Dee then if there's another blueprint waiting with him. I'm so glad to be safe with you again, Kirby. I want us to stay this close forever. Aw. Hey there. So all of these looking better. Hey, Kirby. Been a while, hasn't it? I didn't get to say it before, so thanks for saving King Dedede. Speaking of, he seems to really like this town. He's been resting to help himself heal. Actually, we have something to give you. It's a blueprint from King Dedede. A gift from the king. What an honor. You got the Masked Hammer Blueprint. Now you can evolve the Hammer ability. Take it to the Waddle Weapon Shop. All right, sure. The way our daring king threw me into that elevator after I tripped, it made sure to protect me. I was just in awe. He's usually so carefree, perhaps a teeny tiny bit lazy. But when it matters most, our leader always does his royal duty. Long live King Dedede. All right, well, I'm glad he's back to his good old king self. We are going to go into the Waddle Dee Weapon Shop so that we can upgrade the abilities that we've gotten blueprints for throughout today's episode. Wow, you have so many new blueprints to give me. All right, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll get this evolution started. So the hammer ability has an upgrade to the masked hammer. The speed.
Space Ranger. The Storm Tornado. And, ooh, the Deep Sleep. That'll be interesting. So let's go and check those out. Guess what, Kirby? I've found a way to make your copy abilities even more powerful. I just need a few rare stones to raise your attack power. I'm calling this process Ability Power Up. I'm ready to power up your abilities whenever you are. Pick a favorite and we'll try it out. Ability Powered Up. When you power up an ability, a plus will be added to show that its attack power has been increased. Use that extra power to beat some hard bosses. Interesting. So the downside right now is that I don't really have any more of the power stars or I would be upgrading these right now. So as you can see, like the, the Space Ranger blueprint cost three. One thing is that the Noble Ranger, this is a second evolution thing, but I defeated King Waddle for this, not uh, King Dedede for this, and it didn't really, maybe because I used a hammer during that fight a little bit. I'm not quite sure. But since I can't afford any of these, I can't quite do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and defeat King Dedede one more time, try to get all those extra challenges done. We'll take a look at that some other time, because we are already pretty deep in today's episode, so I would like to just focus on what needs to be done. So, defeating King DDD, getting all the challenges done for that final boss fight level, and then we're gonna go and do the challenge levels. So, there's still a good chunk of stuff to do. Whoa. What is this? That's the lab discover era. Interesting. Way up there. So back here, in the presence of the king. We need to clear by using a second level evolved ability. I'm assuming we also have to defeat it without taking damage and all sorts of stuff. So I would think that the range ability would do that. I'm going to try again and not pick up the hammer this time, just in case that messed something up. Okay, defeated it again just with this. If this doesn't work, I have a feeling when they mean second level evolved ability, they mean an ability that's been evolved twice. I had thought it meant that the base ability would be level one and the second, the first evolution would be level two, but that might not be what it means. So I think that what I'm gonna do is I'll try again, again, but with a different ability that's been evolved twice instead of once. Like maybe I just misunderstood it. But our next thing is clear within two minutes. I wish it told me how fast I cleared it so I could get an idea, because apparently it wasn't quite fast enough that time. It's weird that I'll tell you, teleport you all the way back over here to the lab discover, which we've already done all this. So I will try again with a different ability upgrade and everything. Okay, so so far this is going quite well. I am just using the buzz. So I'm also, I, I grabbed some extra power damage things from uh, the shop back at the Waddle Dee place. I haven't taken any damage yet and we're doing some massive damage to him. I'm also trying to, you know, defeat him in, oh gosh. Less than two minutes. So it's a whole combo of things to do, but we just got him. Wow, that did so much. That was crazy. All right. So that should be a second evolved ability, right? If not, then I have no clue what it means. Clear within two minutes. All right, do we get anything else done? Clear without taking any damage, awesome. But did we do that last one? Clear by using a second level of evolved ability. Awesome, so we got all three done on the same run. Isn't that cool? The extra power from the shop definitely helps. Sorry if that's taken the easy way out, but I definitely think it was you know worth doing for me. So there we go, stage cleared. We should have every Waddle Dee from every stage in this world now. We just have to go through, get the bonus challenge, still with all the bonus stars. But I'm glad we got that out of the way. So I'm curious, is that every Waddle Dee in the game? It might just be. So that's something I wanna try to find out here in a moment. But first, let's uh, skip all this. There we go. And exit this stage. All right. Did we do it? Is every Waddle Dee in the game saved? About to find out. Seven out of seven, all Waddle Dee saved. You saved all Waddle Dees in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Maybe that's not all of them in the entire game, but it's definitely everything here. So for the stage list, as you can see, we got everything totally marked off here. We just now need to go to the treasure road and get all of this stuff done, which is gonna take some time. Some of it I might not even be able to do. I need to evolve the Space Ranger, Storm Tornado. Those are the only two, which hopefully we can afford those as we're getting all this done. It's gonna take some time, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is fly around a little bit and see if we can't find, aha, 
anything extra that might be a bonus challenge. There's one of them. There should be another treasure road challenge somewhere around here. It could be this right here. Uh, no. All right. So let's look around a little bit more. We have thing here. That's not anything. Got to be around somewhere though, right? Usually if it's particularly noticeable, like something like this. There we go. So we found both of them pretty quickly this time. That's always nice. We found a hidden treasure. Earth. So that should be all of them open. We will just now have to go all the way back to the beginning. There's so many of them this time. Wow. All right, let's start with this one over here. This is Homing Bomb Treasure. Seek the switches. Homing Bomb Hunt. Need to do it in under a minute. We'll give it our best shot then. All right, so Homing Bomb is a good ability, but sometimes it can be tricky to aim. So I guess I just gotta toss some of those over. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Come on. And I can't hop over there. Oh, I see. So it's the homing bomb's gonna go off and hit the switch's ally. Interesting. Trying to be as early as I can with it. Got it. And with that button open, come on, come on. Oh, that is close. 32 seconds remaining. We wanna get the time. Oh, I see. I did that wrong, I think. Yeah, because you need to hit that and then open this. Got it. So let's throw a few of them up there so that while it's got it, we don't have too much time now, 10 seconds remaining. Hopefully that's for us if it is. Come on, got it. So I think we did on the first try, it's a great start. Rare stone found, got the check mark for the target time, which I really wish it gave you more than 50 coins. 50 coins is such a little amount compared to the amount of work it takes for it. Especially since you can get that amount of coins like in a level in a couple of seconds, you know? or like a minute or most. So it would be cool if it was maybe more like 200, 300, something like that. Twin Drill Treasure, let's try this one out. Dig and Duck, Runaway Parade. Once again, we have a minute. The drill ones are always a bit more challenging though, so we'll have to see how this ends up coming together. All right, ready and go. So we're gonna dig. And I guess that's the same deal. I pressed B again there, so that was a little weird how that just didn't really work. Gonna pop up. Yeah, I don't know, this drill's a little weird. Okay, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. All right, so far, see, I tried to do the forward drill in the air. I guess I'm not supposed to do that there? A bit odd, to say the least. Just about trying to find those opportunities to Dig back under, we have 20 seconds now. To get through the rest of this. Oh, come on, that was silly. See, I was trying to do that before, but it didn't quite work. Either way, it doesn't matter, we got it done. So far, these challenges are a walk in the park. Let's keep it that way. I don't mind. Not so challenging challenges. You know, I'll take that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's that done. So two down already and our third uh, rare stone. I think we're gonna need at least six to get the two that we need for the challenges. Wild Hammer Treasure, Whack Attack, Wild Hammer Trial, under a minute and 30 for this one. Sometimes the hammer ones are real tough, sometimes they're actually not too bad. But with a minute 30, that means yeah, we can get through half of our time here. Oh, it's gonna be some battling. I'm guessing if I land in this purple goop, it'll be no good for me. Oh, that's a big guy. And this is the upgraded hammer, so it definitely packs a bit more of a punch. And that was gonna be the last one. Oh no, whoa, Kirby, be careful. That's gonna eat into my time a little. Unfortunate. Ah, should probably avoid landing in the goop if I can manage. Okay, they're rotating to the left counterclockwise. All right. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotcha. So, we keep moving. We got two big bosses here. I could use my power up too. I still have that. 
I don't know if that's worth doing right now. Not on the first try. Okay, I think I got one of them. Okay, well, well to an extent. Oh my, this is gonna be close. Gotcha. See, now I can just focus all in on him. Gotcha. All right, so with 10 seconds remaining, we got it, no problem. Awesome. Those babbling ones can sometimes be a good challenge because you really have to try to optimize it. But so far, I feel like our, our Kirby skills have been sharpened to an extreme degree. That's gonna be four points now. And what about this one to the left? Normal treasure. Oh, interesting. Kirby's Inhale Showdown. Two minute time limit. Don't see many of these where you're just normal Kirby. Honestly, I don't mind it. We should do this more often. Ready and go. So I guess I have to eat these guys up and send them back out. I don't know if I need to grab these guys. So if I can avoid it, I probably should. Well. Okay, I see the ID here. I sorta of messed it up. Oh, I pressed B to spit it out. I wonder if my controller is like a little battery or something because I feel like I'm pressing buttons and they don't always go through. Yeah, let's send that through there. Darn, I missed one. So I need some, some sharpening of my basic Kirby skills. I always have an ability. Okay, so I don't have to, whoa! Okay, perspective didn't help me out there. Got it. That gets rid of them, but did I really need to do that? It didn't seem like it saved me any time, so probably not. Okay, so back up here. That's not what I wanted. I'm having a hard time with the controls right now. Yeah, because now I have to do that the, the difficult way. Because the goal here is to pick up multiple of them, you know? Okay, that was the last one. We're off this way. So I'm down to 40 seconds remaining. I was trying to pick up more of them, but it didn't quite work. Okay, 20 seconds remaining. The last group of them here. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be the giant sword and another one? No, bonkers, okay. Wild bonkers and wild edge. Oh, and they're charging right for me. I don't know if the thing would actually give me extra damage here, but we're gonna try it. Attack boost. Oh, that's the that's shield. Can't really do much against that. Oh man, we're cornered. We're cornered. This is not going well at all. I need to run. Oh, can I grab that, actually? Oh, I swallowed it. I didn't mean to do that. Go, Kirby. Run, and I'm out of time officially, darn. Well, I'm not out of time, but I'm out of the bonus time. This one's gonna be tough. Thing that made up for everything else, right? Oh, that does some good damage. Okay, I gotcha. Darn. So next time, hopefully, I'll understand a bit more about what I'm doing here, and I'll be able to get done more quickly. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. Got a couple more enemies waiting for me. <laughs> Guys, I feel like it would be faster to skip those most of the time with that one. There's so many enemies in the way, I guess not. 224, 27. So now hopefully that I understand how to do it, it should be much faster. But this one still might take me a couple of tries. Guess we'll find out. I might make up for all the ones we just got done super easy. All right, go back into it. So far this one's going way, way better. Oh, I missed that though. So perhaps I spoke too soon. There we go. Oh, these stars do so much, so much. Okay, maybe not there, but in general they were. Okay, one more should do the trick. There we go. So with 25 seconds to spare, I think I did a good job this time. Grab all four of those and then just go for it. Come on, made it. 116, so we had 16 seconds to spare there. We definitely made a big difference then. There is our rare stone. Really nice, okay. So there's still more challenges waiting for us, of course, but glad to get one of those out of the way. So if we back up a little bit, we can start tackling some more to the right. Like we have this one, Blizzard Ice Treasure. 
Freeze and find, magma skating. Under a minute for this one. Let's go for it. So we have a nice ability one. These are always fun. All right, so I can just sort of cruise over all this. What is gonna be in the treasure chest, I wonder? Okay, it's gonna be one of these. I still have a little bit of extra time here for bonus damage, which is funny. I don't quite need it, but it's there. Okay, I got that. I'm guessing there will be one up here. Yep, already see it. So I can't stay on the, the lava without moving around, because that will hurt me. Or, I don't know, that was weird. Anyways, you see that damages me after a while. I just, I don't quite understand. All right, so that's almost all of them. Maybe it's just if I spend too much time on the lava. Either way, I haven't been paying attention to the time too much. I don't know if we're doing a good job. It was probably a faster path through everything. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, I think that's what it is, is if you spend too much time on the lava, it hurts you. I don't know if that was enough time, but we still got it. I understand how this one works. Now 58, so just barely. Awesome to get that on the first try then. Cool, cool. <laughs> get it, because it's ice. All right. So more is getting accomplished here. I know that the next one up here is gonna be locked off until we get a certain upgrade, which we'll do later. That will be a uh, Space Ranger treasure. But over this way, we have the Konoth treasure. These are always fun. Pierce the floor, up and down tower. Let's go for it. All right. So I need to eat this up, and then I guess just slam right down. Whoa. So where are we off to? Right over here. It's interesting how many times it is just simply better to ignore enemies if we can. And just get through to the objective. Not always, but a lot of the time. Okay, that worked just barely. This is where we're gonna be a bit careful. Because these little guys are gonna try to get me, but I was able to dodge it. Nice. Back up here now. Gonna just chill out for a bit. Whoa. Oh, just barely jumped in time for that. Oh man, don't get stuck on the on the roof of that. And we're at the end. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Very fun. I just love the little, any kind of, of like, what's it called? Uh, when, when it's one of the special abilities for this game, the challenges for those are a lot of fun. So either it's car mouth or cone mouth or any of those. I still see a couple more challenges ahead though. So we are definitely not done. What do we have next? Don't we? Right here, ring mouth treasure. So here's another one, Gust for glory, ring boating rush. All right, let's give it a go. Oh wow, this looks cool. So we'll eat that up. Ta-da, ring mouth. Just gotta get started over that way. Ow, okay, that was weird. I guess I did it a moment too late. See, constantly hitting it maybe isn't always the best move because I might mistime some things. Just trying to get through as much as I can. Once again, we'll avoid those enemies. Rather not, I don't have to. Getting hit is certainly not helping, so <laughs> trying to avoid that. Then right now, got it. Okay, looking good. Ow, that wasn't so good though. Come on. I don't know how to feel about our timing right now. I don't think this one's gonna make it, but I'm certainly gonna try. That's it. Okay, and got it. So was that enough? Was I a second too late? Oh, not even a second too late. A part of a second too late, a portion. Man, that's rough, but I think that means that I'm more or less guaranteed to get it this time. As long as I don't make any silly mistakes, we should be able to get that time requirement. 
Oh, 30.02. So I was just barely faster. Was that enough? Wow. Some tight timing on this one. But we caught it. That's all that matters. With that check mark's there, I'm happy. All right. So with that done, what else is going on around here? We got that one locked off. So there's two more that aren't locked off. So we're gonna focus on those. Multi-mouth treasure. Kirby, the master of mouthfuls. Two minutes and 45 seconds. So this one is definitely going to be a bit of a longer one. Some of them don't even give you that much time in total. So, and this one only gives us 45 seconds more than that. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I don't know if that was worth it. Just trying to get past these guys. All right. Oh man, the camera angle is not doing me any favors right now, I can tell you that much. That's sort of my biggest problem with some of these challenges, is that the camera just doesn't really work with you. Okay, so I think I have to go up here, hop out of this, grab the vending mouth machine, Bending machine math. And just bust through this wall if I can. Got it. Lots of them are gonna go for me here, but do I really even bother, you know? I think I can get rid of the sneak. But if I can just get through and then hop out, get this, and deal with them for as little time as possible is the main goal. So here we go again in the in the boat again. Always hard to see fireballs over top of lava with that one, the little urchin guy. Okay, we're done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're going for me, but I don't know if I care too much right now. Got it. Then I'm supposed to get over there. It's a little tricky with these platforms. Got it. Okay, let's just stay on this one for now. Whoa, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then I suppose I hop off of this? No, no wait, I'm wrong. Yeah, and no, sort of. I need to, oh geez, that's gonna eat into my time. There we go. Hop up this way. I suppose I could've just jumped across normally. All right, well, what's done is done. We have water balloon mouth. And I'm just gonna focus on the path I'm trying to walk. I'm not gonna get rid of all the enemies, cause why should I, you know? Now I can get this one. Hit that where I can. Look at the bunnies in the eye, which I, I don't appreciate. Hit this one, we got it. Oh, gotta wait for that. Oh, we're almost there, almost there already. Boom, hop out, got it. Oh, we got the car to finish it off, right? It's the best one, at least in my opinion, it's my favorite. Okay. Remember to cut corners where we can, but with icy pathways like this, it might just not be worth it to risk too much. Oh man. Risk is sort of the name of the game when it comes to time. Oh, that, that fire hurt. Come on. Bunch of coins waiting for us too. Nice little reward. All right, did we do it in time? That's always the big question. Ah, oh, we are four or five seconds too late. I, I can see where I could save that time now. I think that maybe one or two more tries and we'll get it no problem. But man, would have been great to get it the first try through. Okay, hopping back in. Let's do it under 245. Okay, I think I might have done it this time. I have one more hit left to take, so I gotta be really careful. But I think it was down to 45 seconds was where the time cutoff was there. Let's find out. I really tried with this one. Yeah, 235, we're good to go. Excellent. All right, so that one was definitely one of the more challenging ones so far. <sighs> so, with that done, there's one more challenge we could do before we have to go and buy some more upgrades, right over this way. This is Car Mouth Treasure. Collecting laps, circling circuit. In 40 seconds, let's see how it goes. These are always fun, of course. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but hitting the button seems to accomplish something. Ah, all right. Different 
little keys to find, and I can save some time by cutting some major corners. Doing so won't always be, no, ah, easy, wow. Okay, that was a really wide turn. Got it. A little concerned about my time now, but we'll just keep trying. That's the last one. And where will that be? Oh, it's gonna just be the same thing again. Just a little bit trickier. Okay, that was sort of silly. Oh no, okay, I think it might be a good idea just to retry this one then. Because I need to do it in under 40 seconds. And if I'm falling off the side, then I'm not really getting that done. Because uh, yeah, 40 seconds means with a minute on the clock, I'll have 20 seconds left over to get it all correctly. All right, let's give it another go then. Still jump through here because that is gonna save time. This time, a little bit better. This turn, for whatever reason, Kirby sort of like slid, it felt like, uh, when we went across it, but this time was better. Oh no. See, and I also jumped a little too early here before, and then I land on the spikes so that made me bounce over the one. Hopefully not the case this time. It still happened, but okay, I still get it. There's three. Come on. Oh no, I missed it! Oh darn, and that would have been it right there, I think. That really stinks. Okay, this time, we'll see how it works. I still have only five seconds to get over there. So that's where this gets tough, and I hope I didn't, you know, jump too late. Okay, we're fine, we got it. All right, that one is really, really challenging, but it's doable. 3686, just need under 40. And we're over 9,000 coins, pretty cool. So that should give us plenty of money to pay for the upgrades we need for the other two challenge levels we haven't quite got to in today's episode. So let's go for it. Let me first double check what those were. Uh, but there we go, there's another star for us. If we take a look, stage list, switch over to this. The two blocked off ones were Space Ranger and Storm Tornado. So Ranger and Tornado, oh wait, there's still two more. Evolve this ability to Mass Timer. Progress through more of the story. I didn't see those two. I don't think. Where could they be? Maybe we should focus on these two for now and maybe they'll pop up later on? Cause I don't see any more. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, let's go back to Waddle Town for now. And we'll get those two upgrades first. But we should be able to afford everything, I'd hope. Oh, look at this, wait a minute, whoa. Golden Elf One statue and Golden Kirby statues is for saving all the waddledies. Aw, thank you guys. Waddledies complete. You saved every waddledy. Thank you, Kirby. As a show of appreciation, special statues are now in the town plaza. Wow, beautiful. I love them. Statues of us right in the middle of town? Aw, I think I'm blushing. I think you're always blushing, Elflin. But let's go back into here. I think it was the ranger and the tornado, right? Uh, So, ranger's on this side. Space ranger blueprint for three of them, 800 coins. Can get that no problem. All right. And what was the other one, tornado, I think? I should double check before we get it, just in case. But yeah, I'm a little confused on those other two challenges, what's going on, but the ranger ability has been evolved into the space ranger. How cool is that? I love it. This evolution will allow you to enter the portal for the space ranger treasure in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Go try it out. Will do. Wow, look at this thing. Oh my goodness, that is explosive. Hold down B to charge up a powerful ranger blast that can pierce through enemy defenses. Oh, also, you know those target switches that float in the air? Ranger's the only ability that can hit them. Okay, I think we need that. I think it was the tornado. So let's go for this. Over this way, we have the storm tornado blueprint. And the other ones we'll worry about later on, uh, for the most part. I mean, I'm, I'm always just trying to get what I can afford. But this is weird. If these are the last challenges, then... I mean, these must be the last ability upgrades. There's storm tornado. 
All right. That looks really cool. I like that the golden headpiece. This evolution will allow you to enter the portal for the Storm Tomato Treasure in Red Garfin Lands. Go try it out. Look at this one. Whoa. And it goes on for so long too. Whoa, and I can sort of dispel it. I like it, I like it. Okay, so I do have enough for one more upgrade. Let's go with the little sleep upgrade. From sleep to deep sleep. Now I don't have enough for the other one, but if I get those two challenges done, I will. So it's all coming together, eventually. So here we are. The sleep ability has evolved into deep sleep. <laughs> Kirby even looks a little, a little tired, a little drowsy. I love it, it's a giant moon, so adorable. So you can just take a little snooze. Ah, oh, that is so cute. A little moon pillow. Oh, I love it. Oh, can we go around a little bit? This is weird. Uh, but I guess it would just, you know, heal Kirby up. Whoa, it gives him extra power? For free? That's crazy. Press B with deep sleep to cast some serious Z's and fully restore your health. If you're able to sleep for the full duration, you wake up with a bonus power up effect. That is really cool. So you could really just go here, grab it, instead of having to pay for it. How nice is that? But we can get Kirby to wake up, I think, at any point in time, right? No, I guess not. It's because I'm pressing all kinds of buttons, but it just makes Kirby shake in his sleep. Wow! So you can just get a bunch of bonus power-ups, no problem. Look at how fast we are now. I like it. So, with that being done, we can head back out to the Red Gar Forbidden Lands again and get more stuff done. It's all cyclical nature, isn't it? There's just so much to do all the time. Actually, put us back here. That's weird. Um, we'll fly over. And where was the first challenge I was locked? Right here, the Space Ranger Treasure. Shoot and scoots, can conveyor targets. A minute and 20 seconds for this one. Let's give it a go. I gotta say, this might be the longest episode I've ever made. <laughs> Just one long episode. But I'm trying to get everything done in one episode so it's more enjoyable to watch that way. A lot of you have let me know that you enjoy longer episodes. So I think if I charge it up, yeah, it has a bigger blast. I sort of messed it up though, unfortunately. But my extra speed boost from the sleeping ability is really helping me out here. Ah, no, I fell off. Oh no, okay, I still got it, I still got it. But yeah, that's another one you could always invest in. If you're really having a problem with one of these challenges, get the speed boost. Okay, that got all of them. I'm good to leave. Let's uh, try to jump over you guys. That's where this gets real tricky, isn't it? is that I have to charge this up while I'm risking falling off. Ah, oh, darn, that didn't quite work. Okay, come on, please. That is silly. I don't know, I guess I'm not charging it up enough. It's difficult because I do not have enough time before we start falling off. Unfortunately, I don't think I made the time for this challenge, but we'll do that. And let's see if I got it. It might be close, it might not be, hard to tell. 114, oh, so we did do it, awesome. Okay, I'll gladly take it. I love how you can see there's like little information on Kirby's helmet. So we have one more bonus star to get so that we can un unlock our last ability upgrade over to this way, the Storm Tornado Treasure. Whirl them away, Storm Tornado Treasure. A minute and 30 seconds is the time to beat. Let's see if we can get it. Tornado challenges can always be a bit tricky. Okay, I got those guys pretty well. Jeez, this thing just lays destruction wherever you go. I wonder if it would just be faster to, turn, to tornado over. Got it. Okay, I wanna go the opposite direction they're going so we can get to them faster. Okay, spin, spin, spin. Gotcha. 
So far we're making fantastic time, but I'd rather not land on the spikes. Oh, we got some boss fights now, huh? Floor tornado and another floor tornado. Two versus one is never fun, but do what I can. This thing is so powerful, it's crazy. Our goal is to sort of hope that they get closer together. If we can hit both of them at once, it really helps with our time. That's it. But I'm getting whisked up in their tornado. I don't know why I'm going this way. Come on, that's it. And there it is. Was that good for time though? 110, 130, excellent for time. 20 seconds to spare. Could have, you know, taken our time a little. Relaxed, stretched out our legs, but we're fine. All right, so that should be, as far as I could tell, almost every challenge. The only one we missed was one that we needed Meta Knight for. That's where I'm a bit confused. So if we take a look now, 11 out of 13. I don't know where these two are because we got 10 out of 10 for Original Wastelands, nine out of 10 for Winter Horns, because I don't have this, the Meta Knight Sword, which I plan on doing. It just, I haven't found the time because these episodes are so long as they are, but everything else should be done, right? Yeah, so where are these last two? I'm not quite sure. Regardless, one of them says I need to upgrade to the Mass Hammer, which is the last upgrade we're gonna be getting in today's episode, so maybe that'll open up somewhere once I do this. Maybe it's not even in this area. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work. So definitely we'll figure it out. But as you can see over here, our last available upgrade, the Wild Hammer, or not the Wild Hammer, the Mass Hammer. You don't have enough stars, so I need five for this. If you need a rare stone, try clearing the Colosseum. Ah, so obviously we don't have quite enough time to do that in today's episode. I think we're just gonna wrap up there. But man, what an adventure. We completed Redgar Forbidden Lands, found every Waddle Dee, we saved both here, the Forgotten Land, and we saved Popstar, Planet Popstar. There was so much we did. What a wonderful time, and there's still so much more to do, which we'll be getting to in the next episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.